क्वेश्चन टेन सेज दैट इफ सर्कल्स आर ड्रॉन टेकिंग टू साइड ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल एज डायमीटर्स प्रूव दैट द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ दी सर्कल्स लाइज ऑन द थर्ड साइड सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू फर्स्ट शो यू अ सिमुलेशन टू हेल्प यू विजुअलाइज दिस प्रॉब्लम बेटर टू हेल्प यू विजुअलाइज द की आइडिया बिहाइंड दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू कम बैक एंड राइट आउट द प्रूफ स्टेप बाय स्टेप Okay, so here's a simulation which shows a triangle ABC. What we are going to do is we are going to draw two circles using two of the triangle sides as diameters. So let's draw a circle with AB as diameter, like this. So this circle that you see, it has AB as a diameter, and now let's draw a circle with AC as a diameter. So I've drawn the circle. Uh, with ac as a diameter and if you observe their point of intersection of the two circles p it lies on the side bc of the triangle and this is true even if i vary the triangle so let me vary this triangle and no matter how i vary the triangle you can see that the point of intersection of the two circles always lies on the third side bc so this is basically what we have to prove in the question that the point of intersection of the circles will lie on the third side now let me take a few moments to help you understand the reasoning behind how we will prove this fact that p always lies on bc so basically what we will prove is that bpc is a straight line and that will mean that p must lie on bc so i want you to think about the segment that we will get if we join a and p this segment that i've drawn here now think about the angle that this diameter ab it subtends at the point p so this angle apb this must be 90 degrees because this is an angle in a semicircle similarly i want you to think about the angle that the diameter ac subtends at the point p so this is the angle apc which is also equal to 90 degrees because this angle is also in a semicircle and this means that angle bpc is 90 plus 90 or 180 so angle bpc is 180 degree so it's a straight line and hence p must always lie on bc and you can see that both these angles are 90 degrees regardless of how the triangle uh, looks like okay so even as i vary the triangle you can see that both ab and ac they always subtend an angle of 90 degree at p so the total angle at p which is angle bpc it is always 180 hence p lies on bc coming back to our question let's write out the proof quickly so here's a figure i've taken from the simulation itself now we have to prove that um, this point p lies on bc so we will prove that angle bpc this whole angle we will prove that this is 180 degrees which means that bpc is a straight line and that would mean that p lies on bc so first we will look at this angle angle apb this angle what is this angle this angle is an angle in a semicircle so it must be 90 degrees so let's write this angle apb is an angle in a semicircle because ab is diameter so this means that angle apb is 90 degrees similarly if you take the angle on the other side angle apc this angle this angle is also an angle in a semicircle because ac is a diameter for this angle so angle apc is an angle in a semicircle and hence angle apc will also be equal to 90 degrees all right and from these two from 1 and 2 if we add these two we will get angle apb plus angle apc so let's write this from 1 plus 2 on the left side we will get angle apb plus angle apc which is the whole angle bpc so angle bpc must be equal to 90 plus 90 or 180 degrees and this means that bpc is a straight line bpc is a straight line and that means that 
P must lie on BC. That is the only possibility. If BPC is a straight line, then P must lie on BC. And that completes our proof that the point of intersection of these circles lies on the third side. So with this, we have completed question 10. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.